Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Quillet and I'm a gospel minister. Anytime I stand here, the agenda is still the same. Together, we are saving thousands of people, millions of people out of abusive marriages. So please, share this video to the whole world. Share it into your groups. Share it to your friends on your platform. Like this page, follow the page. Please, we are saving lives. You will serve somebody today and your own life will never be the same. Thank you so much for doing that. Listen, I'm about to address an issue and it is so sensitive because it involves a minor, Ifani, Davido's son. Our hearts are heavy and we are all sad. This is so pathetic and I don't wish this to happen to anybody. God forbid. Davido, I personally, I send my condolence to you and your family. Listen, some truth must be told. This particular accident could have been avoided. Yes, it could have been avoided. Somebody will say there are things that are beyond control. Everything beyond control. If you are a little bit careful, you can avoid it. It is better to stop it from happening than to allow the harm to happen. If you listen to the story very well, this child was entrusted in the hands of some people in the house. As the videos the widow and the, the wife or girlfriend were not around. Okay? The child was with the nanny, the chef, and some other people in the house. According to the story, the, the, the nanny said she was receiving a call, so she left for a while. Somebody's child is with you, and you left to receive a call. You are on duty. You are working. So what could have stopped her from taking the child along or staying where the child is to receive her call? And she thinking the chef will also take care or have a blick on the child because the child is around. He was also doing his work. Okay? So he also forgot to check on the child. And later, when they realized the child was already in the swimming pool. And this is so heartbreaking news. It is so sad. It is so, so, so sad. For such a thing to happen. This is negligence. If you are taking house helps. If you are taking nannies. Please pray upon them. Don't tell me don't use this as spiritual issues. There are spirituality that happens to any negativity. Anything that is negative. It involves spirituality. If you don't know I'm telling you. Don't joke with things. And don't take things for granted. If David don't knew that his child would die on that day, he would have taken the child along. There are things that you don't know. They happen in the spiritual realm before it happens physically. So if we stand here to tell you, take them seriously. Pray over everybody that you entrust your child into. Pray over everybody that you give your child to. Don't take things for granted. Now, Mr. Davido could have taken the child along. Mr. Davido could have gone with the nanny, with the child together. This is negligence. There are certain things that we just, you know, the normal routine. We go and we come back and the child is there, so it is normal. Have you asked yourself why in Germany, if you have a child, you are allowed to stay home three good years to take care of your child? You don't know. The people here, they have studied so many things about children. And they don't joke with children. Especially even if the child is a special child. They give proper care to children. If you joke with your child, they'll take the child away from you. Do you know why? Have you asked why? You are a parent. But there are things that in Africa, sometimes we just, we just leave it like how it is. Because I have to go and work. Now, let me tell you, anything you are planning in this life, and you have children, you don't plan out of children. You plan with the children together. If you want to have a child, and you are a career lady, plan your child together with it. How long will you stay at home? How are you going to go to work? Even if you want to work here, okay, and you are in the hands of the government, here in Germany, if the government is taking care of some of your responsibilities and you are about to work, 
and you write to them that I want to start work, they'll ask you, how are you going to take off your children? They'll make sure the children are in the nursery, what we call kindergarten here. Those who go to school are in school, and they'll make sure all the children are properly placed before you have your time to go and work. You can't go to work and leave the children at home. The police will come. So children are special, just as the Bible said. Children are a gift to parents. And don't forget, you will account for every child. Let me come here. If we calculate the children that live together with their parents, mother and father, and those who don't live together with their mother and father, single parent children, there are differences. And unfortunately, anytime the marriage doesn't work or that relationship doesn't work, the two couple or the two people who were in relationship, they become enemies. Everybody is fighting that one will fall. And out of their selfish interest, they disregard those children. They leave the children to live their own lives. Sometimes the men will go and give their children to the women. And sometimes the women will go and give their children to the men. And sometimes they will leave them at their village to their mothers and they will be living their own life. It is not bad to leave your child to your mother. But after some time, pick the child out of that place. And take care of your own child. Because nobody can take the, uh, care of the child better than you yourself. Take that burden out of your mothers. Don't say, my mother is so happy to take care of my child. Be very careful. There is this emotional bondage that you have to build between you and your child. So the moment you leave your child to your mother or any other person, you are, you are breaking that automatically. Listen, there was an issue here that a child was given to somebody to take care of because the lady goes to work every time. For five good years, the lady is a black lady and she leaves the child to another white woman. For five years, the, child, the, the white woman stood at the court with this black woman claiming her child. It took the hand of God for the woman to have back her child. Be very careful and extra careful. Giving birth alone is not an issue thing. So it's not an easy thing. So if you give birth to a child, take care of the child. That joy that you had when you had the child, the child for the first time. Please continue with that joy. Don't forget it if the child is growing. Move with that joy. Even if you don't have what to eat, survive with that child. Don't leave your child to people who doesn't know how you struggle to take care of your children. Who doesn't know how you struggle to bring up your children. And out of negligence, your child can die. And this is what we are all seeing. Sometimes because of career, I'm a musician. So you go to places and you leave your child to strange people that you don't know about. And it is even dangerous if you are not spiritual and you don't pray. Your eyes are not open to see what happens in the spiritual realm. You don't know. So you, you, you'll be going and coming and your child will be in danger you not know. How many CC TV cameras has not caught nannies who are more treating babies, children? Don't you see it every now and then? What at all do you want in this world? What do you want? Is it money? Is it success? You want to have it without your children? You want to have it and after that, your children are dead and gone. Is that what you want? Let us be extra careful and let us be mindful of how we take care of our children. Take care of your own children. If you divorce, you have to sit down and arrange how to take care of the children. Some of the fathers, especially, please forgive me, don't come after me. It is true. They run away. They don't know what the children are eating. And they look for other women and stay with the women. And those women who are staying with men who are having children. And you are preventing the men to take care of their children. Your reward is coming. There are darknesses ahead of you. You need to be extra careful. Push those men to go back and take care of their children. If you are allowing the men to take care of your own children. And the men are leaving behind the children that they had before they met you. Your own children, your own children's life will also not be well. And this is a curse you are calling upon yourself. So if you are a mother and you are living with a man who is not taking care of his children, let the man take care of his children just as the man is taking care of your own children. Why do we do that to one another as human beings? And some of the children are dying innocently. Our president
accidents. Okay? Our inventors, our great people, they are losing their lives. God forbid that something happened. But this is the truth, and the truth must be told. I will go deep into this issue. I will not leave it like this, because me, I don't joke with children. Being a nurse, I find it so pathetic, so I don't even normally like the children word, because I don't, I don't want to see children suffering. God bless you so much, and thank you for watching. Please share this video, like I said, like the page, Quinlet Music, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. And your life will be blessed. God bless you so much for watching. To be continued. Oh Lord, we are ready for the moon. Holy Ghost, manifest yourself in here. Manifest yourself, Holy Spirit. Oh, keep on. It could grow, my in your power move in your mind you are the fire I am the sacrifice ignite my spirit